and just levitate Okay guys, so welcome ulit sa ating YouTube channel. Uh, ito na yung lesson 18 sa ating trigonometry. So, ito na yung reduction of A sin theta plus or minus B cosine theta to K sin theta plus or minus alpha. Okay, so para to, ito yung tinatawag na reduction identity. So, the reduction identity, yun nga, binanggit ko na. A sin theta plus B cosine theta. So, again, yung B, pwedeng positive, pwedeng negative. This is just equal to square root ng A squared plus B squared times sin theta plus alpha. Where, lagay lang ni sir, where si sin theta, oh, sir, sorry, si sin alpha is equivalent kay B over square root ng A squared plus B squared. And si cosine alpha is equivalent sa A over square root ng A squared plus B squared. Okay, so, alin lang sa dalawang yan. Okay, so, yun nga gagawin natin. I-reduce natin to. So, ano ba magi application nito? Ang application nito usually sa graph eh. Okay, so, kunyari, ganyan yung given, tapos pinag-graph sa'yo. So, magkakaroon ka ng idea paano gawin. Okay, so, syempre, example muna tayo. So, sabi, simplify 1 half sin theta plus square root of 3 over 2 cosine theta using reduction identity. So, ano unang gagawin natin? Identify natin ano siya. So, in terms of form, ito siya, yung nasa left side. That is A sin theta plus B cosine theta. Okay, so meaning, i-rewrite mo yung A, B, tapos solve natin yung square root na A squared plus B squared, tapos solve natin yung alpha. Okay, so anong gagawin natin? Uh, Lagay mo yung A, so identify what is the value. A is 1 half, tama, B is square root of 3 over 2. Next, kunin natin square root of A squared So, ano yung value ng a squared plus b squared? So, this is equivalent sa square root ng 1 half squared plus square root of 3 squared. Okay, so obviously this is simply equal sa 1 half squared is 1 fourth square root of 3 squared square root of, square root of 3 over 2 squared is 3 over 4 or simply this is square root of 1 which is 1. Okay, next is hanapin natin yung value ng sin alpha, ng alpha. Okay, so, sabi, sin alpha. Sin alpha is B. So, square root of 3 over 2. All over 1. Kasi meron tayo square root of A squared plus B squared. So, this is simply, sin alpha is equal to square root of 3 over 2. So, ang tanong, what is alpha? So, pag kinuha si alpha, alpha is arc sin. So, arc sine ng square root of 3 over 2 is simply 60 degrees. So, similar din doon, kung gusto mo kunin si cosine alpha, ganoon din lalabas doon. Ili naman yun. So, pwede, pwede naman mili na kayo sa dalawang yan. So, I think pwede na tayong i-reduce siya. So, therefore, si 1 half sine tigta, 1 half sin theta then when kasi nga diba 1 half sin theta plus square root of 3 over 2 cosine theta so by reduction identity this is equivalent sa 1 multiplied by sin theta so fiction theta na yan plus 60 degrees Or in just simple manner, that is sine theta, or sine theta plus 60 degrees. Okay, so yun yung sagot, o yung kanyang reduction identity. Okay, so next example, simplify square root of 3 sine x minus cosine of x. So again, write natin yung a. So a is square root of 3. Okay, b is negative 1. Okay, so we need to find the square root ng a squared. Okay, and that is equivalent sa, uh, this is square root of 3 raised to 2 plus negative 1 squared. Okay, so obviously that is square root of 4 which is equal sa 2. Okay, so nakahanap tayo ng 2. Next is hanapin natin yung kanyang value ng alpha. So gamitin ko naman yung cosine. So we have cosine 
of alpha is equal to square root of 3 over yung 2. Okay, then that is alpha is equal to arc sine. So, this is arc cosine, I mean. So, arc cosine ng square root of 3 over 2. So, by the way, arc cosine din yan. So, check natin na yun ay value nyan. Arc cosine of square root of 3 over 2 is 30 degrees. Okay, so therefore, alpha is equal to 30 degrees. So, pwede natin hanapin yung kanyang reduction identity. Okay, so by reduction identity, si square root of 3 sine x minus cosine x is equal to k is 2 multiplied by sine then theta plus 30 degrees or simply this is 2 sine theta plus 30 degrees so yun yung kanyang magiging sagot okay so next is uh, express 2 sine uh, express 2 sin theta minus 60 degrees as, sin, as a sin theta plus b cosine theta where a and b are constant so paano naman pag ganito yung way so kung napansin mo may value na tayo ng k on the square root of a squared plus b squared which is 2 so, may value tayo ng angle which is 60 degrees or negative 60 degrees so ang kailangan natin hanapin is yung value ng a and b ok so again ha ang value ng square root of a squared plus b squared is 2 ang value ng alpha is negative 60 degrees ok so from this so hanapin natin value ng b una so sine negative 60 degrees is equal to b over 2 so therefore 2 sine of negative 60 degrees is equal to b so what is b? b is equal to uh, this is 2 sine negative 60 degrees that is negative square root of 3 ok next is for a we have cosine of negative 60 degrees is equal to a over 2 so again bakit 2 kasi yun yung square root of a squared plus b squared so therefore this is 2 cosine of negative 60 degrees is equal to a so, check natin. That is 2 cosine negative 60 degrees. That is 1. Therefore, A is 1. So, ang reduction identity nito dun sa kabila, is 2 sine theta minus 60 degrees is equal to A is, uh, A is 1. So, A sine theta. So, 1 sine theta plus negative square root of 3 cosine theta so simplified lang so this is sine theta minus square root of 3 cosine theta so therefore ito yung kanyang reduction identity ok so ganun lang kadali gamitin yung formula na yan ok so next is graph y is equal to sin x plus cosin x using reduction identity so general kasi ang gagawin dito hindi ko kasi naturo yung addition of coordinates pag magagraph tayo ng sin and cosin so parang ang nangyari uh, kunin ko yung mga points na ito tapos mga points na ito si i-add natin tapos saka natin ipa-plot ganun kasi talaga ideally yung gagawin natin pero using reduction identity kaya natin siya i-reduce tama so ang gagawin na lang natin identify natin what is the value of a so a is 1 b is 1 so obviously square root ng a squared this b squared is equal to square root of 2 ok so kunin natin yung sine so sine alpha is equal to b over square root of 2 or alpha is equal to uh, arc sine ng yung b natin is 1 over square root of 2 so obviously this is alpha is equal to 45 degrees ok so since 45 degrees sya or in terms of radian this is pi over 4 ok so this is 5 over 4 ok then so by reduction identity cy is equal to sin x 
plus cosine x is equal to uh, k is square root of 2 then sine theta plus pi over 4 okay so yan yung kanyang reduction identity Okay, then I just skip the process na lang nung pag-graph kasi naturo ko naman na. So, ang gagawin ko na lang, ipapakita ko na lang yung graph tapos ipapakita, ipapakita ko na lang yung mga intersection niya. So, yung mga possible intersection niya sa loob ng interval. Tapos, yung paggalaw na rin, probably, kasi nga, may plus pi over 4, may p-shift sa loob eh. Okay, kung napansin mo p-shift na pi over 4, so, gumalaw ng uh, to the left, ay to the right siya. So, pakita ko na lang yung graph. So, graph basically, ito ay equal or equivalent lang sa Okay, so yung mga points, sorry, sa tabi nga. So this is pi over 4. 3 pi over 4. Ito yung pi, tapos ito yung 5 pi over 4. Okay, so dito kasi nag-intersect yung isa. Okay, then dito yung negative pi over 4. Check ko lang din, neg ito yung 3 pi over 4. Ang negative 3 pi over 4. Ito yung negative pi, ito yung negative pi pi over 4. Okay, so dito kasi nag-intersect yung graph. Then, ito, square root of 2 and negative square root of 2. Since yung amplitude is square root of 2. Uh, obvious naman yan. So, ipa-plot ko na lang mga points na to kasi ito yung mga nag-intersect sa kanya. So, this is the graph. So, ma-reach yung maximum value na pagdating sa pi pi over 4, then babalik dito meron syang value dito dyan okay, so assuming tumama ulit dyan okay, so yan yung graph ni y is equal to sin x plus cosine x so again, ginarap ko na lang yun nag pay shift na lang ako ayoko na kasi daanan pa yung value kasi medyo mahaba na rin yung video or I think marami na rin kasi yung topic uh, adduction identity lang naman yung focus na ito Okay, so thank you for watching. So, hoping na panorin pa yung next lesson natin kasi next lesson is all about double angle identities.